So there was a Celebrity X Factor launch that took place for this entire contest that is about to come up. So I thought I would do another review because a lot of people went through on the red carpet and we're just gonna go through them bit by bit. Now if you haven't already, click that button please and do subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali and let's get into this video. First up, I'm gonna get straight into it. We have our beloved Samira. I'm so disappointed. I'm actually like, I'm actually so disappointed. The color I feel like definitely suits her. I feel like the design is very nice as well. I feel like her hair, her face is beat, but they're just the, the dress. I feel like you could do so much more with Samira. And this is just terrible. I feel like I'm not, I'm not a fan of this at all. I'm very, like, I don't know, like I expected better. I expected better from Samira and this is just isn't it for me. I feel like the whole outfit is being drowned out. Like, what is going on? What is this little part that's flowing around? Is that like, why is that? Like, I don't even know, child. We then have Zara. I feel like Zara looks beautiful here. This is the color, it, <laughs> like, I feel like she knows what she's doing when it comes to the red carpet. I wish Samira did, but she doesn't. I like Zara's hair. I like the color, that, the color I feel like is just a bit too strong for her, I would say, but obviously I feel like the dress itself is very royal, it's very regal, and I feel like it does suit her and she does look nice. We also have Eyal and Wes who are standing um, here with Zara and Samira. Um, and Eyal, I'm feeling this look, it's an all black, simple look with a wet, curly hair vibe and a plunging neckline and I feel like it's a very safe look, again with Wes, both very safe, easy looks. I feel like they could have gone with something a bit more, you know, just a bit more brave, you could say. And I just feel like this particular outfit for both of these is just quite, quite plain Jane. I would have wanted a bit more for like a red carpet, but at the same time I feel like Eyal does it better than Wes. We also have Nicole Scherzinger, who's obviously going to be one of the judges. Here she is in a two-piece dress. The makeup, I feel like, does look nice. She has pushed her hair back for a very sharp kind of look. I do like the earrings. When it does come to this two-piece look, I'm not really a fan of the cut in terms of the material and where it's going, like some parts off her shoulder, some parts around, and I'm not really feeling that. I would have liked it if the um, second part of the dress was just simple and laid back rather than all you know crunched up like this I don't really understand it the color I do like I do like the flash of the midriff and I also do like um, Her hair being slipped back. I think it's a very you know a very daring look indeed Fern uh, Is her name Fern? I don't even know what her name is child But this girl who was I believe on Taui or was on some show and then she was on X on the beach causing a madness this suit I like. I like this kind of, you know, professional suit look that everybody seems to be going for now when it comes to these red carpets. I feel like the colour is good. I would have liked to have seen it a black blazer, I mean, the blazer as it is, but maybe some black trousers because I feel like the whole outfit is being drowned out. The plunging neckline is cute. The hair is cute, but the face is not. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a plastic surgery that she has had, but those lips and it just looks like her face has been stretched back and it just doesn't look nice. Like, I'm, honestly, it doesn't. We have Ricky Lake. The fact that Ricky Lake is on the show here, I don't know what's going on because Wow, talk about a blast from the past. I don't know what she's doing here. Is she, does she work on a farm? Or like, what, what are we doing? What are we actually doing here? Because I, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, why are you carrying a dog with you? It's not every day I bring a dog with you everywhere. These boots, I don't, and then this, this white square, why is that coming out? And why these, this entire outfit, it doesn't make sense to me because you're giving me Baker Boy vibes with the hat. Why are you carrying your dog? Why are you wearing this dead gray kind of like jumper why is it short sleeve in the winter i don't understand what well, winter's coming i don't understand this shirt that's been pulled out of where i don't is it like is it a napkin like i don't know what's going on and then these boots this entire thing this i don't know what's going on let's just move on we have this guy from glee i like this outfit i feel like he's playing with the different colors of blue kind of like a light color blue you could say with pur purplish then you've got very dark navy blue as well you don't normally see a contrast of different colors being played together and this is why i like what he is doing it's smart it's casual it's not too smart and it's not too casual and I think I like this outfit a lot. We also then have Victoria, who I don't know who she is. I think she was, was in a particular show in London, or in, in like a soap drama. But I feel like this color looks absolutely beautiful on her. On her. She knows the color that suits her and she knows that the cut perfectly suits her as well. And this in itself, I feel like is a great outfit. It looks beautiful on her. And this is how you need to dress. This is how you do a red carpet. We then have these two kids. I have no idea what their name are, so I'm just call them Sam and Henry. Um, we have Sam and Henry here. I don't know what's going on with their outfits. I feel like Sam on the left is looking a bit, you know, 
like that shirt within the design I don't even know but I assume these two are kids they're under 18 so you know we'll give them a pass because they are still kids it's not that serious for them we then have this individual who is David Hasselhoff's daughter I forgot her name um, she's giving me gothic vibes with the dark eyeliner and the eyeshadow and then you know the entire outfit is very dark and black and then she's gone for this bright coloured lipstick you could say um, and makeup I do like the fringe of the hair I'm not really fan of the outfit I don't feel like I'm able to see anything I feel like it's all being washed out but I do feel like the over top kind of like blouse you could say um blazer is run is nice i do like the ring that she's wearing on her on her ring as well uh, on her finger as well as um her nails as well so i would do like a very mini kind of you know islander kind of outfits review because you guys love me doing these kind of videos and you know this is the launch for the x factor celebrity i'm actually quite keen for it now i'm actually looking forward to it just to see how this plays out just to see the love island group especially and see how they do because all four of them can actually sing and have good voices are you guys here for it and are you guys ready for my reviews because i can't wait to review the show when it comes on just to see the performances and just to react to it i feel that's going to be absolutely hilarious if you guys haven't please do subscribe and click that button for daily consistent content go on my instagram please I just put up a, a sponsored post. Please go check that out, Murad and Murali. Like, comment, be interactive. I'd really appreciate it massively. Follow me there as well, and I'll catch you guys soon for another daily consistent video.